Our gradebook is ordered, but we haven't really done anything with the, the different categories that are in here. You do not have to grade your class like this, but the way I like to do it is by weighting the categories. And we're gonna look at my category weights here. So I have my discussions at 10%, homework is 20%, quizzes are 20%, and exams are 50%. So we're gonna make our gradebook reflect that. So well, first of all, I don't have a category for quizzes. So the first thing we're gonna do is add a category. Never click add a grade item but we're gonna add a category. Uh, I guess I'll leave page. If it ever asks you that, it's because you made a change, but I can't remember what change I made, so I'm not hitting uh, save. All right, so category name, this is quizzes. You can uh, set up some additional options. The only one I've really found useful is drop the lowest if you have that policy and if you want to, if you uncheck exclude empty grades, that means empty grades actually count as zero out of the number of points for that assignment. So at the end of the quarter, what I do is I untick this and then the students get a zero for every blank in the grade book. But I like to leave this checked because as you're building up assignments, they might have 10 assignments they haven't turned in and they will have 10 zeros and their grade will be really bad. So I leave this checked until the very end, then I uncheck it in each category. Okay, you don't really need to mess around with these other uh, right here, unless you're doing something, well, you really shouldn't mess with parent category, uh, at least not on this page. Okay, so I put quizzes in. I call my tests uh, exams. So I'm gonna go edit settings right here. And again, I'm on this line with the little folder icon. I'm gonna edit settings, category name, exams. And again, you can change any of these other things you want. Okay, we can reorder categories just like we did uh, with item, individual items. So I can take forums, I wanna put forums at the bottom I want to appear after quizzes. You want to be careful. This is not after quizzes. That's inside of quizzes. If you look at the vertical alignment, you want to make sure it's all the way on the left. You don't want to put one category inside of another. I've never done it. I don't recommend you do it unless you really know what you're doing. All right, so that'll put all my forums at the end. So I want to move quiz one into the quiz category. So I clicked out down arrow and I put that right into quizzes. There we go. All right, great. I do want to move my little zoom link and net tutor to the very bottom. Again, not inside the forum category, but after the forum category. Same thing with net tutor. Okay. So now we're ready to weight everything. We saw my weights earlier. Hopefully I remember them correctly. I do 20% on homework, 50% on exams. These are in percents. Quizzes 20, forums 10. Now, let's say I'm really, well, it's save, so everything adds up to 100, no problem. If things don't add to 100, maybe I put uh, 20 here and hit save, what happens is it, Moodle does its best to weight your forums the same amount as quizzes because they both used to have a 20 here, but of course that would be 110%. So what it then does is scales everything down to 100%. If your numbers don't add to 100, you'll get this weird adjustment right here. So what we're gonna do is just retype everything. You do need to be careful that they add to 100. Okay, there we go. Save, if they add to 100, that should come out with the numbers you typed in. Perfect, all right. And that's it. You don't need to hit save changes, but in case you just wanted to, you can definitely hit it if you'd like.